So someone suggested I try giving a regular low current, so set to 2 amp charge, while doing the radiant with the mechanical uh, Bedini motor here. So what I got set up is um, I'm used, actually using a transformer to isolate the back end to the front end. So the back EMF dump is going into the primary and the secondary with a diode is dumping it back in the battery. So this is doing like the inverter would do. So um, as you see, it, it's getting it charged very quickly. This usually takes all night at the 2 amp setting, but with the radiant doing its thing and back feeding into the battery. So there's a diode here, but there's no capacitor, so still getting the pulse. You see, no filtering. It's just I'm using the f this to isolate, because you can't just directly put the back EMF end in the front. And I'm using just one battery. And I just want to see what happens when the back EMF charges at the same time when we put in C13.7 now. And I've got it set to 2 amps. It's a very quick charge, it seems. That seems to be working well. So this is running off the 12 volts and the back EMF is being sent to this transformer which I'm just using as an isolator with a diode sending it back to the battery with the charger on there as well set to 2 amps I'm just monitoring the pretty quick rise much quicker than normal and this I guess would be a good way of charging because it's faster and it doesn't require an extra load because like an external load because it's using the battery's own very small input to create the radiant with this stacking it up it seems like one complements the other So I was trying to find a way to isolate the back end with the front end so I can loop in and um, I ran out of SCRs for my cap dump circuit so I'm just experimenting with this for now. It's crude and quick. There is a bit of a loss in the transformer action unfortunately. But um, it seems to be less than with the inverter because I tried it with the inverter with a capacitive power supply here which would feed the uh, Bedini motor here. Um, but I didn't like the idea that this uses a few watts of idle power, so I'm trying to find a way. This, this seems to be better, despite the loss. Less components. So now we're at 13.9. Uh, we're getting very close to a um, full charge here. I just wanted to show you folks this. There we go, we're at 14 volts now. Usually this takes me, again, stressing that um, it would take me, you know, over six hours on like the 2 amp mode to normally charge the battery. I mean, the voltage raises pretty quickly. So we've been running for about four minutes. We went from like 13.1 to 14.
So 14.1 right now. So this is going really quickly. It's about five minutes, two amps. So it took five minutes to charge my battery, basically to something usable. Charger saying 70%, but at uh, 14.1, it wants to see 14.4. I don't need to see 14.4. Now at 14.2, it's going pretty quick. Again, two amps, just two amps. It doesn't usually go up that quick. Um, I've got other batteries here, and these things take all night at two amps. I like doing it at two amps because it's slow charging. It doesn't kill the batteries. I'm in no hurry, so I always set the thing to two amps. That's how I know it takes a while. And I've done it with this one too overnight. So I find it very interesting as I'm taking this video that with the addition of the backing MF, it's really uh, giving a boost on the charge rate. This plugged into the mains, by the way. I'm not using the inverter. The only thing the battery's powering right now is this, is the Bedini generator. Fourteen point three, so I'm going to say that's pretty well charged because we're looking at fourteen point four here, and uh, this happened in uh, seven minutes. We went from thirteen one, um, twelve nine. If you want to be technical, you didn't see this in the video, but I metered it before plugging the charger on. I guess instantaneously it jumped up to thirteen one, but technically speaking, twelve point nine to. 14.3 in like 8 minutes. That's pretty good. So I hope you enjoy. And I shall make more videos. And see now it's actually going down. It detected it's close. So it went to 1.8 amps. It's actually getting ready to click out here. show you that. They'll do it again here. There, 80%. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kicking in. 14.4. Here we go, folks. We're charged. So the whole thing took 8 minutes to go from 12.9 at 2 amps versus <laughs> 6 hours, you know? So, um... I realize I started off at 12.9, but still, you know, 12.9 to 14.4, taking only 8 minutes or less is pretty good to me. When I would normally, I know this would take hours normally. Alright, so as I was going to let you folks go here with this video, I just got distracted as I saw the meter was almost done and I wanted to show you that from the chart so for good I will end it for now and post my um, results as I get along with it.